Dr. Jason Fenyaranda is one of the pioneers of integrative medicine in the Philippines. He started incorporating non-mainstream treatment modalities way back in 2005 when the practice was simply known as wellness or alternative medicine. Alternative. He's currently a board member of the Preventive, Regenerative, and Integrative Medical Alliance of the Philippines, or PRIMA, the Medical Society of Doctors Practicing Integrative Medicine. He is a consultant of aesthetic science. Health is in, in Quezon City, and Egle Wellness Center in Makati, and Balisin Island Club. So when you drop by Balisin, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jason. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for so nice to see familiar faces <laughs> and new faces. Welcome. So I'll be talking about not me, <laughs> that same guy who said that would be thy medicine and meant uh, the medicine be that good. We know that medicine is something that treats illnesses or cures. Basically, what he's trying to say is. You take, your med you take your food as your medicine, it's the food that should be what you're using to treat all your illnesses. Okay. Now, uh, according to Harvard uh, Medical School, food is still the best source of nutrients. Okay. We're all in agreement. But that is in the ideal world. Yeah. If our world has pollution-free air, if there's no stress, if there are no bacteria floating around, <coughs> no radiation, that would be good. But we're not in the ideal world. Okay. In the morning, we're supposed to eat breakfast. We don't. We rush. If we do, we eat fast food. Okay. You go out in the street, you get pollution. You take uh, public transport, you get the virus or bacteria of whoever's around you. You get to work, you face stress. And then you try to go home, more stress. So you go out, you drink alcohol, you eat some more. You, went, you go home, maybe drink some more. <laughs> so you stay up late, watch whatever. And then you just repeat the cycle. Okay. So even when you're home, you try to lie down, you want to sleep, you know, you still a lot of those things running around your mind. Uh, Where's the good diet? Okay. Yes, food is the best source of nutrients, but how many of us actually eat good food regularly, consistently? And then you get diseases everywhere. At home, you have radiation, you have uh, different contaminants and toxic chemicals from your personal products, home care products, your detergent, your soaps, everywhere. You have Wi-Fi, you have cell phone, you have this. So you get all those things. And then you see those noodles. So here's one uh, numbers also. Seven million the number of people who die prematurely from air pollution. That's just air. Like, you're not doing anything, you just go out there and sniff and you know, seven million of us will die. Ninety percent people who breathe put air. Okay. Another ten percent, maybe those are in the jungles of, uh, of Brazil or Africa. And then two million uh, deaths in Southeast Asia due to air pollution. That's just in Southeast Asia. So there really is a need for good diet. But it is never enough because of the reasons I told you. If the world is perfect, if the world is perfect, uh, then fine. But we have to add something. That's why we need to have some sort of supplementation. Okay. And you find these everywhere in the market. But what we need to consider here is, uh, one, the quality. Where is it coming from? Who is making it? Uh, let's say this is 500 milligrams uh, curcumin from turmeric. How much really is there? Or glutathione? Efficacy, does it really work? Uh, they tell you that uh, si paring ano, nag-take nito, nag that improve ka, bahay mo, lolo mo, you know, but uh, in the general population, does it actually work? Quantity, okay, if, uh, let's say ampalaya actually reduces your blood sugar, but how much do you need? How much are you actually taking? And then the convenience and compliance. If it's something you have to take in several glasses, multiple times a day, every day, you have to blend or you have to take bitter pills, then you know, it might not be so easy for everyone. 
Also, when you take oral supplements, so you put it in your mouth, it goes to your digestive system. The premise here is that you should have a very good digestion and absorption. If you're not digesting the food that you eat or the supplements that you're taking, you're not really maximizing the nutrients that your body needs. Okay? There's also that thing we call, uh, we call first pass effect of the liver. It means whatever you digest, it goes to the liver first, and then the liver will process it. Not all of it will be available for your body to use. Okay? That's the downside of taking supplements uh, orally. Uh, so, that's why we're introducing IV nutrition. We're not calling it, well, it's not really IV therapy because when we say therapy, there's a disease that we're trying to treat. When we say nutrition, we're just basically adding things that your body needs, okay? Another term I'd like to introduce to you is what we call uh, health optimization. We're not treating any disease, but we're maximizing the health that you already have. Like uh, my old patients, Old meaning patients for a while. <laughs> we'll tell you. I keep telling them. I'd rather. Yes. <laughs> I'd rather see you while you're okay, and let's keep you that way instead of you coming to me when you're already sick. Okay. So that's what we like to optimize. So one, there's lack of nutrients in our food. Why? Because one, the soil is not as fertile as it used to. The food are not as nutrition as nutritious as they used to. And then you have an unhealthy intake of food. Come on, what did you have for lunch? <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> say, right? See, the thing is, we know what food to eat, but we don't. We don't, we don't really take them. There's, we always have a cheat day. Today, tomorrow, we'll cheat day again. <coughs> you always have an excuse to cheat. And then there's malabsorption. Malabsorption is... You take maybe 100 grams of what? Uh, resveratrol or astaxanthin. You only get what, 500, 300 because you're not absorbing most of them. There are environmental toxins that deplete vitamins and minerals. Uh, if you're exposed to heavy metals or infection, your zinc gets depleted, your magnesium gets depleted, uh, your vitamin C gets depleted. So going back to what I said earlier, in the ideal world, do you know how much vitamin C is recommended every day? 60 milligrams. Who is taking 60 milligrams of vitamin C? You're taking at least 500, right? So that's in the perfect world, just to keep your body healthy. And then extreme activities. If you're, if you're into yoga or uh, sports or bodybuilding, if you're... Uh, Obrero in the construction site, right? You need more of this. And then also when you have illnesses, uh, you get colds, you get flu, uh, immediately your vitamin C demand goes up. Okay? When you have uh, more chronic illnesses like diabetes, hypertension, your needs for all the other nutrients, vitamins, minerals also increase. And then your intake of prescription meds. There are some medications like um, example, your, your antacids, they block the absorption of other minerals. So that, that also impairs intake of your, or absorption of the nutrients that you're getting. This is a basic cell. Before, uh, the thrust of mainstream medicine is to look at your organs, your heart, your liver, your kidneys. Now we're looking at the cell. It's the smallest unit of life. Uh, basically, this is what we're trying to address now. The nutrients that we're trying to put inside your body are the things that your cells need at the cellular level. Okay? Because if the cell is unhealthy, then definitely the entire organ that it makes up is also unhealthy. So we targeted that. And we'd like to make sure that whatever it requires, we're able to take it in and deliver it in the right amount. So. Just some uh, reminders, IV therapy or nutrition should always be correlated with the following. Diet, okay? If you're taking oral supplements, if your diet is good, then we need to adjust what you're taking. Uh, for the water-soluble vitamins, if you have excess, well, you just throw them out for your urine, but of course, that's waste, saya. If it's the fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K, we need to know your diet because we need to estimate, if we're not going to test, the amounts you have. 
so we know how much to give you. So that's a factor. Exercise, like I said, if you're into heavy activities, there are certain vitamins that you would need more. Like vitamin C, you need that for tissue and muscle repair. Uh, nutrition also goes to the diet. Detoxification, if you have um, a lot of heavy metals in your system from your exposure to pollution or shampoo or whatever, uh, farmed fish, your tilapia, your sal salmon, to say this, okay. and you don't have anything to take them out, we also consider that. Uh, hormonal equilibrium, uh, if you're around the menopausal area or you're stressed, okay, you don't have to be at a certain age to have hormonal imbalance. Stress alone can upset your entire hormonal profile because when you get stressed, your cortisol, that's your stress hormone, goes up. Okay. When your cortisol goes up, eventually, and your, your stress continues, eventually your cortisol gets depleted. There's also another hormone, DHEA, which will try to compensate. Unfortunately, DHEA is also the precursor of your testosterone and your estrogen. So when your DHEA is depleted, so will your testosterone and estrogen be. So you, you see the correlation? It starts with stress, okay? And then everything follows, and then when you have that hormonal imbalance of your testosterone and estrogen, that messes things up. And then it becomes a vicious cycle. You get more irritated, you get more stress. The people around you get more stress, so they also have hormonal imbalance, so it becomes irritated. And that's where stress management comes in. So, uh, we came up with several uh, cocktails. Glutathione, you already know this. Okay, let me just emphasize that uh, we're not giving you glutathione to make you fairer or to make you, <laughs> make you white. Uh, glutathione is a very powerful and abundant antioxidant. It's the most abundant antioxidant your liver produces. This is very important, especially if you're taking a lot of processed food, fatty foods, and alcohol. Okay, you need to support the liver with that. Um, beauty cocktail. Well, it contains some anti-aging components. You have vitamin C, alpha lipoic acid, vitamin D complex. Okay. It, uh, it sorts of repairs and gives you that glow. The Myers cocktail is a um, I wouldn't want to call it generic, but it's a, it's a cocktail that's been around uh, in the field of natural path. This was a... Uh, Myers is a lemon, no? Huh? Citrus? Citrus? No. I don't know. <laughs> it has no citrus. The Myers cocktail here was named after the <coughs> doctor who started it. Okay. It's a combination of several vitamins and minerals. The difference of Myers to the other cocktails that we've done is this has been used by a lot of doctors globally. Okay? It's been tried and tested. We've had good results with it. The other cocktails that we have are things that uh, we created uh, as a response to the needs that we see from our patients. Uh, if you want to try something uh, at first and you don't know what to target, Myers would be a good starting <coughs> Youth serum, all, all, all anti-aging. Okay. Basically, let me emphasize that we cannot stop aging. We cannot slow down aging. Aging as a natural course, and we can't do anything about that yet. Okay. The reason why we grow older faster is because we do things or fail to do things with the result of accelerating our aging. Okay. For example, you don't sleep well at night that will increase your aging process. You take in lots of alcohol, you get exposed a lot to sunlight, that also increases your, your aging. The youth zero will stimulate and accelerate tissue repair, especially for the skin. So the, the normal wear and tear that your body will experience, this cocktail will help reverse gradually. The energy elixir is, um, it's basically well, as it says, to give you energy. If you're, this is uh, in, in the other clinics where I go to, this is popular among athletes. If you're training for an event or, or, or a contest, uh, that would be good. Or 
you know, if you've had a long weekend, you, you've done a lot of things, you're stressed, and you feel like you need a little bit of energy, then this would be it. This is your, uh, this is your medical coffee. This is your extra job. And then the fat burner, basically, well, it will, the cocktail itself will not burn fats. What it will do is to stimulate your body, uh, tap its natural functions for you to burn the fats faster. Uh, and as we always say, you couple it with good exercise, you burn it so much faster. The advantage here is you're giving your body a helping hand. Because <coughs> it's so frustrating, you do this and that, you're so tired, and if you check your weight, it's the same. So this would be a good help. Then multivitamin infusion. You're healthy, you're eating well, you just feel that you need an extra boost for anything in general. Not, no, no, no specific concern to do, uh, to, to address, then we just give you multivitamins. This is this is like, but this is multivitamins in general, except that the difference is that we give it to you directly through IV, so it won't pass the liver anymore. And then we have the cost of IVs. Well, we recognize that we can't assume to know all your concerns, and we cannot always be prepared uh, for whatever problems you bring to us. So we can customize based on your specific need. For example, you have uh, heavy bleeding at the moment for whatever reason, then that, that's what we can target. This will not be a cure of the disease, but we will be giving your body an assistance to help you uh, resolve the problem using your own physiology. And I'm sorry. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so you just remember those cocktails, and we also have them here. It's also in your envelope, right? Yeah. So you can just review them. If you have questions about everything Yanni discussed or what I said, now would be a good time to ask. Or you can just eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. We have questions. Please, here's a question. 